So we're going to do an example of a sample Z. And I just made a fake little prompt here. A lot of research says that owning dogs can lower blood pressure. Dr. Dan was curious if this was true for owning pugs because pugs often act like cats, not dogs. She asked 49 pug owners to report their diastolic blood pressure and they had an average score of 72. The average diastolic blood pressure is 75 with a standard deviation of eight. Do the six steps to inferential statistics to see if pug owners have lower than average diastolic blood pressure. So we're gonna go ahead and do these six steps. Let me just get that set up there, okay. So my first step again is to do my research question. And so really what I can do is grab that from the last question. It says, do the six steps to inferential statistics to see if pug owners have lower than average diastolic blood pressure. So it's gonna be a yes, no question. Do pug owners have lower than average diastolic blood pressure, question mark. Now notice that I did the lower. I am justified in doing that because a lot of research says that owning dogs lowers blood pressure. So we wanna make sure that we keep an eye on having previous research. If we don't have previous research, then this research question wouldn't be able to be one tail. But in this case, we're okay with doing lower. All right, so now I want to um, set up my null and alternative hypothesis. I'm gonna do symbols this time. Um, I like to um, do symbols on occasion just to make sure we are aware how to do that. So maybe we'll do this first one as the alternative. Do pug owners have lower than average blood pressure? So it's gonna be the mu for the pug owners is lower than mu. So I'm going to put P for pug owners, and I'm, my alternative is, are the mu blood pressure lower than um, the regular mu? So then I have to do the opposite. So that's going to be the mu of the pug owners is greater than or equal to the mu. Don't forget that equal to um, piece here. That is critical to always have in the null. So now I want to set up my um, step three. I'll put that over here. And this is where I put my rejection region in there. Now remember, this is one tail. This isn't two tail because I've used, and how I know that is because I've used the word lower here. So if this is two tail, I'm gonna make it, sorry, if this is one tail, I'm gonna make it one tail and it's on the lower end because I use the word lower. So this is gonna be a negative 1.65. And I wanna make sure that I'm clear that this is my rejection region. So I have steps one, two, and three. Now I have to do step four, and this is where I wanna be really careful to grab everything appropriately. So remember my formula is X bar minus mu divided by the standard deviation divided by the square root of N. And you'll see how I do the divided by line like this and the denominator. And that's just to make sure we remember that that's a separate kind of piece to this equation. So let's put everything in. She asked 49 pug owners, what's that? That's gonna be our N. So I'm gonna have divided by the square root of oops, 49. Um, and they had an average score of 72. So what is 72 here? That's our X bar. Then it says the di average diastolic blood pressure is 75. So what's gonna be 75 in my equation? That's my mu. So make sure you're able to successfully put these all in the right place. The last piece I have is the standard deviation, and so that's eight. So now I wanna do the math, and remember I always tell students to solve from the bottom up so that they don't uh, accidentally miss a piece that they need. Oops, cancel. All right, so the square root of 49 is gonna be seven, so I know that it's gonna be eight divided by seven. 72 minus 75 is a negative three. So I'm gonna, in my trusty calculator, Plug in eight divided by seven, and that equals 1.14, I'm rounding, but that's okay, 1.14. And then, uh, oop, now I'm going to come to my calculator here and do my negative three divided by 1.14. Hold on, what's happening here? Boom, go away. Uh, brush, go back, okay. So this is a negative three. 
And now when I put that in the calculator, I get a negative 2.6, I hit a button, <laughs> 6, 3. And so remember, we have to keep the negative sign. Like, even though students like to ignore those negative signs, we can't. So I'm going to go ahead and mark where that negative 2.63 would be. Here's 1.65. So negative 2.63 is going to be over here. And so that's in my rejection region. So for step five, I'm going to reject the null. Now, if I'm going to reject the null, I can even go over here and cross it off and go, hey, I reject you, null. You were wrong. So this is going to be the one that I'm going to call grandma about and make my conclusion. So for step six, I'm going to say that pug owners have lower diastolic blood pressure.